of the teapots, French press, uh, coffee pots that I have in my collection. And this was a cozy that I made uh, three days ago. I was using up my lace scraps to create this one. Um, and as you can see, all of these teapots are a wide variety of heights and widths. So to get a pattern is actually fairly simple. You just get a piece of printer paper is what I use. You could also use a, a brown paper grocery bag, whatever you have on hand. And one side is going to be, in essence, the fold, where you put your folded piece of fabric. And then from there, you just take a yardstick, a ruler, um, a tape measure, or even a piece of string, whatever you want to use for a measuring implement, and you're just going to see how tall you need to make the top of the cozy and whatever seam allowance you're going to be using, whether it be half inch or five eighths of an inch, you will want to also add that to your total measurement. So for right now, I am wanting to make a cozy for this red transferware coffee pot that I have. So I have measured the top, I've added in some seam allowance, and then to get that curved edge, I used my French ruler. Can you see that? I'll bring it in a little bit closer. It's, because it's see-through, it's a little bit hard. Um, on my website, I will show pictures of all the supplies that you need to make a cozy. And so you're just going to draw that, that curve and down to the height that you need. And then it's just simply cutting that fabric out. And you are going to need an exterior fabric. You're going to need an interior fabric. And then you're going to need some sort of batting. I have extra wool felting, so that is what I'm going to use, but you can use whatever you have on hand, whether it's um, polyester batting, um, cotton batting, maybe even just an old sweater uh, that you cut the shape out of. Anything that's going to act like a thermal blanket, in essence, to keep your beverage hot. And so I'm going to go ahead and take this pattern and put it on my fabric pieces and then we can come back and look at what those look like once they've been cut out. Once you have your pattern piece, you will cut out two interior lining pieces, two batting pieces. Again, I am using wool felt. You can use polyester batting, cotton batting, whatever you would like, and then your exterior pieces. Now for this tea cozy, I did a patchwork on one side, and then I'm using this little stitchery piece that I've had. It was never finished. I think it was supposed to be a pillow, but I think it will make a super cute tea cozy and the little red cabin mimics the little red covered bridge. So I'm excited to see how it all goes together. The next step is to flat line your exterior fabric pieces onto the batting. So you're just going to match up the pieces and ride along the edge just as narrow of a seam line as you can. You're going to go all the way around so then it's going to be almost like it's just one piece of fabric then. So you're going to do that to both of the exterior fabric pieces.
I've sewn the wool batting to the back of each of the exterior fabric pieces. So now they act as just one single piece. And the next step is to put right sides together and sew them along the edge with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. You will leave the straight edge open. So you're only going to be sewing the curved edge. So you're going to join those two. Now you'll repeat that with your two lining pieces, which you can see that I've already sewn them together here. The only difference is instead of a half inch seam allowance, it is going to be a 5 8 inch seam allowance. So that way the piece will be a little bit smaller and then we're going to be able to slide it inside. So let's get this piece joined together and then we'll come back for the next step. The front and back exterior pieces have been sewn together. I've now also added this bit of crochet to the bottom. And when I was sewing the pieces together, I sandwiched a loop inside so that this will help pull the cozy off and on. Now our next step is we're going to insert this right sides together and pin the bottom edges together and sew them up. I'll come back and show you what it looks like in a moment. I have pinned right sides together of the cozy and one thing that you want to do is you want to leave a section unsewn because that's where you're going to flip it inside out. And so how I remember is the green pin is where I start stitching and I'm going to go all the way around and come back and then when I get to the red pin I know to stop there and back stitch because that's where it's going to end. So definitely leave enough room that you can slide your hand in there a ways and pull it inside out. We are almost finished for that small section in which the cozy was flipped inside and out. You can either stitch that closed by hand or if you want to run a stitch all around the exterior closing that area and then holding the lining securely in place that is an option as well. I think I'm going to hand stitch it because I don't want to detract from this pretty crochet lace accent. To create the lace scrap teapot cozy, you just layer various antique lace on top of each other and work with the size of lace that you have with the width and height of the flat fabric piece. And then I just stitch on and then I'll join it to the wool batting. my wool there's nobody out there there's literally no one out there you're barking at air <laughs> <laughs>